Let's talk about fully qualified domain names, also known as FQDNs. Now, the DNS database is a distributed hierarchical database, and the whole purpose of DNS is to resolve fully qualified domain names to IP addresses. It's distributed. Each DNS server is responsible or authoritative for only part of the DNS database, and it's hierarchical, meaning it's organized in levels. So think of it this way, if you needed to call my phone, you'd have to go out to directory assistance or the phone book to get my number, because ultimately you need my number to contact my phone. DNS is like the phone book for the internet, and just like when you get phone books, you only get the piece pertaining to your neighborhood, each DNS server hosts a piece of the database. And yet that hierarchical organization allows us to locate the authoritative server for that particular domain anywhere in the world. So in an FQDN, you have the name of the host, which is the device that's actually assigned an IP address, and its location in the DNS tree. So the FQDN is the name of the host and all the DNS domains back to the root. The name on the far left is the actual name of the host or the computer, client one, something like that. Traditionally, when DNS first started out, if it was www yahoo.com it was a server named www in the yahoo.com domain not quite how we do it anymore but that's the idea there's an invisible period that you never have to type on the far right that represents the root of the DNS tree whatever's to the left of that period is the top level or first level domain .com .gov .edu in the slot to the left of that is the second level here I have company.com anything between that second level and the actual host we simply call subdomains because you can only register a second level domain I can go out and register shad.com I can't register shad.microsoft.com Microsoft has registered Microsoft.com and whatever they want to do to the left of it that's up to them that's why we don't bother with listing the levels of subdomains really just go to top level or second level but you can see client one is in a domain called tech in a domain called sales in a domain called company in a domain called com that's the path to client one in the DNS tree and the fully qualified domain name becomes a map that the DNS servers can use to resolve that host name to an IP address a DNS domain is a section of the DNS tree. This is not to be confused with an Active Directory domain, which is a container in Active Directory. For example, company.com, that might be one Active Directory domain, but it would be two DNS domains. And a good rule of thumb is every time you cross a period in DNS, that's a different DNS domain. To recap fully qualified domain names, an FQDN is the name of the host and its position in the DNS tree. The host name, or the name of the computer that has the IP address, is on the far left. The root server is on the far right. And every time you cross a period, it's a different DNS domain.